today I'm going to be making a elephant waffle, which was recommended by Chiara Griffo. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Um, she wanted a waffle with a trunk, but I did a little different thing, and you'll see at the end. But right now, I'm using a different drawing app. It's called iBizPaint, which was recommended by a couple people. And I think I really like this app a lot better because it can do everything that my other app could do. But now it can do more things like blending, smearing. And let me just say, if you smear and blend at the same time, it looks so good. I'm so happy. So thank you for recommending this drawing app for me. And I'm pretty sure I'll be using this app a lot more often. So right now, I'm just making my outline of my elephant. Um, it's a little rough right now. It's not that good of a shape. I'll change it later. You'll see. Um, so I'm trying to find a good waffle-ish kind of color. Do you see where I'm going with this? No? No. Oh, okay. Okay, well, I'm doing a waffle color because the elephant is going to be like waffle colors with little waffle squares and stuff. So that's what I'll be making. Honestly, it was kind of hard making this body. I didn't really know what to make it look like because I saw pictures of elephants and they looked really weird, like they had a big hole and hump on their back, and I just wanted mine to look a little cuter, so I chose not to make the little hump big or kind of noticeable at all, um, but it's there, it's there, there's a little one. So now I'm just tracing everything because it's, I just had to go over it with the waffle color, so I'm redoing my ear and if you see me like doing tiny dots it's because my stylus wasn't working that well for some reason today so there was a little anger <laughs> so that's what was happening if you were wondering so now I'm find trying to find my darker waffle color to make the squares with. And I think I found it. And also I can use a line feature on this app. So that helped a lot with this process. And there goes my stylus glitching again. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was starting to get super mad during this process, but I made it and I am super happy with how it turned out. So we're starting to get near the end a little bit. And I finished my waffle squares. Now I just have to clean everything up, like make it look good again. So I'm gonna start with that. And it's already starting to look a lot better. So I'm just keeping tracing. And also, I'm sorry, but I didn't actually trace over the ear for a little bit because I forgot about the ear. The most important part, I know. So if it's triggering you, I know it's triggering me too. <laughs> so I think I'm about to fix it. Come on, come on, fix the ear. Fix the ear. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It looks so much better now. Oh, my God. What's missing there? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe a trunk? I mean, tusk. Oh, my God. Why did I just call it a trunk? But here are the results. Whoa! Yeah. But wait. There's something right before the results. Oh, my gosh, guys. We just hit 50 subscribers. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm like, <laughs> I have to say, our group is like, awesome. I never get any negative comments, and I thought for sure I would. And everyone's just so encouraging, and thank you so much. 
So, one question for the comment section would be, what should we call our subscribers group? I have no idea. All I could come up with was like an awesomeness group or something. Because we all awesome here. We all awesome. So, thank you for 50 subscribers. Whoa! And if you hadn't hit that subscribe button, hit it, click it, punch it. Whoa! Bye.